Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Justin Lane. He is Vice President, Professional Services at Former AI. Uh, welcome, Justin. Thank you, appreciate being here. What made you decide uh, to join Former AI? Two things really helped me make the decision. And the first one is the people. I had met the founder, Nabil, um, when I spent some time at ZS Associates, we got the opportunity to work on a couple projects together. And with Nabil, you have a person who's super passionate about customer success and super passionate about solving problems. At the same time, really, really intelligent and humble. Can you describe what Forma AI does for the customer? So Forma AI is a sales performance management platform. So some of the core functionality or business problems that we're, we're automating and applying AI to are around sales compensation plan design, the calculation and administration of sales compensation, uh, territory alignment and optimization, and quota setting. So that's kind of the bucket of, of business problems that we're trying to address. Explain that aha moment, because uh, I know you have worked for exactly for a number of years and uh, I'm familiar with the company and uh, they have done yeah. a tremendous job, is exactly uh, in comparison to former um, not a complete platform? The leading vendors in the space, we'll say upper right quadrant. I think after 20 years, you know, they've delivered a fair amount of value to customers and clients around enabling a business process. And what I saw with Forma was the idea of automating a business process. And a, a quick way to think about this is for people that will go buy, you know, one of the the older generation, you know, legacy platforms to administer sales compensation. Before that, they probably had a team of compensation administrators to, to go calc the answer and produce their once a month Excel spreadsheet. After they buy the tools, three, five, seven years down the road, they still have a team of compensation administrators running the system. And most likely they're going to hire, uh, uh, whether it's the company's professional services or a third party system integrator, to come in and update that system. And the idea of the role of sales compensation administrator can really shift into more of like a sales performance intelligence analyst. You just need to know how to, to tell a system what you want. And so I've used the analogy of if you can order food at a restaurant, or if you can push the button on your microwave to cook popcorn, you're an expert in form of AI. Do you elevate the role of that systems administrator in, and uh, you create a a more strategic position. That classical once a year sales compensation planning cycle, people are supporting that with Excel. They're doing their modeling, their costing. It's a very manual effort. We can do that all in a single unified platform to where people have the ability to do this continuous planning, to come up with infinite scenarios for modeling. And then once you decide on something that you want, seamlessly now pay on that and report on that and track to see if it worked or not, and then be able to pay a report and track the effectiveness of that change. What industries do you serve at this point? High tech, SaaS, medical devices, uh, insurance companies of where we've had industry, you know, success and proof points today. But what we're really looking to go after are really the most complex, the biggest scale, the people that have the most change, like the highest frequency of change, and that want to use a system with high intensity. You want to run it on the hour? You know, let's do it. So what is on the roadmap uh, for Forma.ai uh, from a technological perspective? What, what are you going to be offering two, three years from now? If you think about, you know, in the short term, what we're going to do in the next two, three years is make it that cycle time even faster so people can do more things with the modeling, with the, you know, actually uh, doing what they want to do within a sales compensation plan as opposed to being limited limited by a system. Share your vision of the future. Where, where is compensation going five, 10 years from now? I think there's some, some dynamics and market forces that are happening. They're going to impact things in an even a shorter time frame than that. One in the SaaS cloud industry, right? They made that big shift from one-time revenue to recurring revenue. We're seeing another shift into usage-based pricing, which is going to roll down and have impact to selling roles and how you pay people to motivate the behaviors around these new roles. One of the other trends I'm seeing is an increased uh, velocity 
uh, of payments or more frequent payments to people, getting cash in people's hands. And so where people were, you know, if they paid quarterly, they're thinking about paying monthly. If they paid monthly, they're thinking about paying weekly. I think we're going to see a lot of companies get to a point where it's going to be controlled by the person, cash out as needed. And we see some companies already already there today, like Uber or their drivers or Lyft, where they kind of control their payment schedule of when they want to, to get their earnings that they have. So where can people find more information uh, if they want to go and uh, read some of your white papers and uh, you're creating a lot of content on your website? Where should they go? Yeah, the website is www.forma.ai. Um, we'll be putting out, uh, like you said, a ton of content. We have a white paper on this usage-based pricing uh, coming out here shortly. Uh, we've got the research agenda and a survey that will be released shortly. Um, also, you can follow us on LinkedIn and get all kind of the latest and greatest uh, snippets and tidbits that we release. And you're also on LinkedIn and we are connected. And if anybody who wants to uh, learn more, connect with Justin. Happy to do so.